what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Remember the teacher slash coach who was going around molesting little boys and passing on HIV to them? Well, on Tuesday, a U.S. district judge sentenced him to 105 years on federal child pornography charges. In January, Carlos D'Angelo Bell, 30, of Waldorf, admitted he coerced children to engage in sexually explicit conduct to produce child pornography from 2014 to 2016. During early state proceedings, Bell pleaded guilty to attempted transmission of HIV and additional child sex abuse charges. Authorities had disclosed Bell was HIV positive. This monster had coached at Charles County High Schools and worked in classrooms at Benjamin Stoddard Middle School in Southern Maryland. Officials placed him on leave in December 2016 after allegations of his actions surfaced. I keep telling y'all, people who want access to children oftentimes place themselves in positions of authority where they can be around as many kids as they want. This ain't no knock on teachers. It ain't no knock on coaches. It ain't an, even a knock on ministers. But man, that's where they are. These people who abuse children, they find jobs, they find positions, volunteer positions also, where they can have access to children and they find these positions in the most trusting atmospheres. Because most of the time, or at least Historically, people haven't thought, I can't send my child to school. He or she may get raped. I can't send my child to church. He or she may get raped. I can't send my child to the YMCA. He or she may get raped. I can't leave my child to play sports because he or she may get raped. So I would just tell parents, be diligent. Don't trust nobody. I mean, and I mean nobody. It's sad, but hey man, that's just the way things are. The mother of this beast, the mother and the father who was separated, said that the guy was a victim of abuse, well, actually, the lawyers said that part. They held their part to say he could be rehabilitated. That's what the parents said. You know, he had a tough childhood, but he's a good person. He can be rehabilitated. <laughs> oh, man. Parents, you got to love them. The judge gave him 105 years. He's going to be lucky to get through 105 days with a jacket like that. Because as you know, inmates, convicted felons, don't take kindly to rapists, especially child rapists. He's going to have a tough time in prison. Now, there are people that say, well, you know, yeah, he going to get it. He going to get plenty of ass where he going. I don't subscribe to that. I don't, I know what he did, but I don't subscribe to sexual assault under any circumstances. I don't support that. I don't advocate that. I think that he can get his in another way. I think there's plenty of ways to light his ass up. So, He's going to have a hard time because I personally think that sometimes a lot of these dudes do what they do because that's just what they do, right? They sexually assault. That's just what they do. 
and they just use that as an excuse. It ain't like they really care about the person who was sexually assaulted. They just use that as an excuse to violate somebody. That's all it is. Because a lot of these same dudes, I mean, they some of these dudes kill children. Now, how are you going to let a, a child killer make it but not let a child molester make it? Come on, man. It don't even make sense. So I just wanted to put that out there. Yeah. The cycle. Everybody's talking about breaking the cycle. You know, he had a rough childhood and he couldn't break the cycle. Let me tell you something about breaking the cycle of physical abuse. I was physically abused, right, by my mother. And I broke the cycle. You know why? Because I didn't want to abuse my children. That's why. I broke the cycle because I wanted to. He didn't break the cycle because he didn't want to. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.